is not a tutorial, no, no. We will talk about hacks. Hello everyone, I'm back today with a completely different kind of video because instead of bringing you through whole full apartment or room makeovers or actually the tutorial of one specific object that we're trying to recreate, I'm gonna go through basic simple hacks that are gonna help you transform any sort of space any sort of makeover in case you don't know my name is Mikal and I'm an Italian interior designer in Tel Aviv and one of the biggest parts of my job is actually doing home styling home styling is when an owner tries to sell a property and wants somebody to stage the place so that whoever buyer comes in is gonna find it way more attractive and sell it for a higher price I need to transform places very quickly very cheap looking extremely expensive Expensive. So I'm gonna show you a few of my hacks. 10 design hacks to be exact. Let's talk about painting. One of the things that drives you more insane is actually the taping. Not even the painting itself. It can take so much time and you need to be so precise. I'm gonna show you the hack that is gonna transform your painting experience. Just use plastic and a paper. One sec. Any sort of plastic. As you can see, this is just a container where I keep my dog food. it up and simply put a piece of paper inside once you have this incredible creation you can simply use it as you go while you're painting putting it on the wall and painting on top of it it works perfectly for wall molding when you have to paint a door on corners it's amazing you're gonna thank me later getting hot in here even though my life is an absolute mess I like to keep my design clean. This doesn't mean you have to go minimal. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that your paintings, your mirrors, your wall moldings, everything has to be straight. Because when the lines are not straight and they all go mixing like this, your eyesight gets crazy. So this is the hack that is gonna help you to hang everything perfectly straight. What you have to do is get a big piece of tape and put it on the back of your piece of art. At this point, you can mark with a pen where it is the two holes are. And once you take it away from the painting, you can place it on the wall and with a little leveler, you can find out how to have it straight. Then you just choo -choo, choo -choo, make two holes on the wall and it's gonna be perfectly straight every single time. Talking about straight lines, another thing that can transform completely any bare space and it does it quickly and it does it very cheaply is wall molding. You saw me doing it here, to this, this, to this, this, to this and I'm telling you it literally transforms places and it doesn't have to be too expensive and it's also easy to take out just in case you change your mind in the future. There's so many different kinds of wall molding. I will leave you the links down below of several different kinds that you can buy. There's made of wood, of plastic. I will show you now how I did it with plastic ones. You literally just have to cut them off the size that you need and make the frame that you want. It can be squares, it can be only the vertical lines on the top. And after you created the shape that you want, you are gonna have to cut angles in case you want them to be squared and then attach them on the wall with some silicone on the back and go again with a leveler to place them exactly where they have to be. So you don't like wall molding, but you still wanna give some graphic optic effect to your room without spending too much money, paint is still the solution. And this is the most well-kept secret of any painter. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to have straight, crisp lines that you can use basically for anything, both if you just have to paint a half of a wall and you wanna finish on the corner, or if you want to have like half walls that are painted just the bottom part or change the colors, or simply you need to have one crisp line. This secret for all of this is to use the same color of the wall before applying the new color on top. I'm gonna show you now the difference between two cases where I did use the same color and not. As you can see on the left side, I simply added a layer of same color of the wall before adding the new color on top. And on the right, I'm just gonna apply the color directly on the tape. What happens when you take away the tape is incredible. On one side, you can see that all the paint leaked inside the little holes, especially if your wall is not perfectly straight. And on the other side, there's basically no leakage at all because what did bleed through was actually the original color and that's why it appears so crisp. I love this tip. And while the paint is drying, I'm gonna share with you one of my best life 
and design hacks. And that is share a card. As you guys all know, I'm an interior designer. No, I don't just build weird stuff in my studio. So literally most of my job is to shop with other people's credit cards. This means that before finding this incredible hack, I was just sharing hundreds and hundreds of links with all my clients for every single little piece that I have to buy. And now I have the solution. It's like the easiest extension to install. What it allows you to do is to share the entire content of your card with somebody else. It literally appears inside their own card through a link or a short code that you can send to them. Amore. Hi. Yeah, I just sent you a link. No, it, it just... Yeah, it has a list. Yeah, it's a list of everything I want you to buy. For no reason. You're not... You're not buying it for me? I'll find myself a sugar daddy! If you want to be my sugar daddy, or if you simply are curious to know what is the list of my favorite pieces at Amazon, click on the link down below to see my card, and click on the link down below also to install this amazing plugin. What was the next word? Ah, a huge thing that's gonna help you elevate your space, both if you're buying new or if you're actually using your old furniture, is upcycling. And yes, I know this can be totally scary, but I have to tell you that sometimes it's so simple. Adding different kind of handles to the old closets that you have, or simply very cheap IKEA closets, is gonna transform completely that piece of furniture. You can buy thousands of handles online. I'm gonna add you the links again down below of my favorite ones, but what I suggest is something scenographics so that you don't look at the cheap piece of furniture and you just look at the marvelous new handles. Problem is that when they're big, they're extremely hard to hang. When you have two holes and you need to apply those on your closet, how do you do that? The tip is again to use some paper tape. Paper tape is your best friend. You literally apply it on the back of your handle. If it's a huge one, if it's a small one, it doesn't matter. And again, you're gonna go and do two tiny holes on the back of the tape, then apply directly the tape on your closet, use a leveler, and finally you know where to do your holes. It's gonna make your furniture go from to bad that boom. You have no idea how many times a place gets devaluated by its bathroom. Yes, so here is how to make your bathroom look more expensive without spending a cent. That's basically styling. You get the toilet paper and you literally fold it like this in a little triangle. And once you made this huge shape, you go under the sink, you let the tap run for just a few seconds, and then poop! You press it on the bottom of your water tap and it's gonna make this stamp on top of it that is extremely elegant and once you place it on the side, it's not gonna look messy and crowded anymore. It's gonna look extremely stylish. <laughs> Another tip is to do it with your towels. Yes, having beautiful and tidy towels in your bathroom is gonna make the place look so much more elevated and it's simply the best hack. You can also do it with blankets. You know the throw blankets that you put on the side of your couch? I'm gonna show you how to fold it now. I guess this part of the video is absolutely self-explanatory, so let's take time to make a thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. That is Zari, that is Shalom, that is Asia, that is Leslie, that is Kismet Sarkin, and that is Layla and Aslam Thiem. Thank you so much! Revolutionary tip that probably you have to go and apply right now. It doesn't matter if you live in a very small space and you want to make it look bigger, if you live in a big apartment and you just want to make it look more luxurious, you need to put your curtains all the way to the ceiling. No, it doesn't matter if your window stops here. You need to go all the way to the ceiling. This is gonna elevate your space so much. It makes the space and the ceiling look so much bigger, so much more luxurious. Put together, you need to apply this now. And as you can see, sometimes it has nothing to do with the budget. It just has to do with little tiny hacks that can transform the visual of your place. Okay guys, this video is over. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this format because I was thinking to make a full columns about hacks and tricks about what to do and not to in your space, what to do in your bedroom, how to style a living room, how to spice up your bathroom. Basically general tips that all of you can use in your own space. So let me know and like always, see you next Monday. Who's gonna clean this mess right now? Mango? Mango, can you eat this?